Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Zach Gun Sports. I'm your host, Zach Gershman. Today, I'll be attending St. Joe's University Men's Basketball Media Day at Hagen Arena on the campus of St. Joe's. Last year, SJU finished with a very disappointing 13-18 record. However, college basketball experts believe that the Hawks are able to improve and have a better season than last year. One of the reasons for this optimism is Captain DeAndre Bembry, a 6'6 forward. Many NBA scouts believe that DeAndre could be a first-round draft choice with tremendous upside potential. Last year, Bembry averaged nearly 18 points and almost 8 rebounds to earn his way onto first-team A-10 honors. But he'll need help from his teammates, and one teammate he'll rely on is senior Isaiah Miles, who will have to be an impact player down low for the Hawks. But he'll also need help from a strong incoming freshman class, including freshman guard Chris Culver. St. Joe's is coached by Phil Martelli, now entering his 21st season with the Hawks. Martelli has only had one back-to-back below 500 season. Coach Martelli has led the Hawks to 17 wins in all but three of his seasons. Now, if the ball bounces in the Hawks' favor and they shoot their free throws and make them, the Hawks should find themselves very competitive in the A-10. Now, let's get ready and meet the Hawks of St. Joe's University. Based on preseason practices thus far, what's the biggest difference between this year's team and last year's team? Uh, this team is younger, much younger, much deeper, and we're, uh, we're playing at a pace that's much quicker. Not faster, but much quicker. And the teaching has been faster. We, we're teaching more, and they're picking it up uh, quicker. And the other difference is that last year we were the defending champs. We forgot about that a lot around here. Uh, that team was the defending Atlantic 10 champs. They have a banner hanging up there. They got really nice rings. And they have a net hanging up in my office, and we forgot about that. This year, we're not a defending champ, and we're not a team that played in the postseason. And there's a hurt, certain hunger and a certain hurt that, uh, to get back to the postseason. Do you have any superstitions before a game? They're not superstitions. They're rituals. I can okay? tell you all of them. <laughs> Marie has all of them, but believe me, I do. <laughs> I don't eat. I don't shave. I don't shower. I walk into the arena an hour and a half before the game. I come out on the court with 145 on the clock. I say my prayers in a certain order. I dress in a certain order. I, I listen to the same music coming from my house to the arena. Do you have any personal goals this year? Uh, first and only personal goal is to get more wins. That's, that's really the only thing on my, on my radar, really, just try to get more wins. Especially coming out with the season we had last year, that was a really bad record. But I feel like we get more wins, that's probably, I'd be happy with that. So, Chris, you were the MVP of the Philadelphia Catholic League, averaging 20.7 points in the, and scoring in fifth in the city in scoring. Do you have any personal goals for, set for this year? Uh, my personal goals is um, pretty much uh, seeing the floor. And if I see the floor, I hope I just get productive minutes and it's just going out there and performing at the best I can and uh, helping my team. Um, yeah, definitely just, you know, playing productive out there, helping the team any way you can, you know, definitely, you know, Accomplishments, you know, happen. Everybody dream for them, but you know, basically, the main thing, you know, is the win. They just want to win games. What motivates you to play the game? Um, I mean, this is the sport I love. Like, this is my life. You know, I've been playing ever since I was four. So, you know, definitely, this is just I have spirit for the game. Like, this is what I love. Uh, what motivates me is uh, uh, my family. Uh, my mom and dad. They want to see me do well. I want to see myself do well. So I just want to go out there and show, so show the coaches that I can play and uh, play the, at the best of my ability. You've been here for four years. Yep. Um, what makes this team more special than the others you've been on? Um, I would like to say, I would say the depth. You know, we got way more depth at each position, and uh, I mean that's a good thing also because uh, you know competitiveness in practice. We compete every day. You know, it's four, three or four guys at each spot. So I mean, just competing every day. It's exciting to come to practice every day and just compete. And I feel I would say the bond that we all have. It's more of a family friendly bond that you know it's it's great. It's great to to play with someone who is like your brother. You know? With your senior year just around the corner, do you have any personal goals set for this year? My personal goal is just to, you know, get on an all-conference team, one of those first team, second team, third team, just, you know, just, I mean, last year I was the second leading scorer. Just coming back with that confidence and just keeping that confidence, you know, just trying to help my team score more, whether it's produce, I mean, whether it's score more or rebound, just produce, I'm trying to win the A-10 championship. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, thank you guys very much for joining us with 
with going to St. Joe's for Media Day. It was an awesome experience. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, once again, thank you so much to Yoni Azule for, for videotaping this for us. I really appreciate it. And thank you to all, to all the St. Joe's people and players who I've interviewed. And thank you for welcoming me in and letting me join practice and observe. All right. Well, that'll be it for this edition. I'll see you guys next time with Zach on Sports.